What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. We're back here. Burgers Kicks. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. No live cop for, you know, a long time. It's been a month. And my other live cop that I pushed out last month wasn't that great. Um, I had a video planned to do the Jordan 4 Lightning and the Yeezy 350 Lite. But I had an issue with my recording and my... Uh, my monitor like wasn't working that well and for some reason it shows a black screen on OBS so yeah like in order to you know show it I don't know like I don't know what to do um, I think I'm gonna go and buy a new cable and see if that works cuz it works fine with my like my monitor obviously but I don't know maybe I just need to plug it into somewhere different but I don't have an extra spot on my graphics card so yeah so i need to get a new cable so that kind of screwed it because you know that was a movie movie drop well at least for me on the yeezys because i had 131 checkouts i believe you know you can always follow me on twitter at burgers kicks try post all my success i'm a lot more active on twitter and stuff like that and you guys can reach out to me so yeah check out at burgers kicks on twitter and you can see the rundown of what i hit so yeah but let's get into this video here so i get tons and tons of requests to make you know bot guys and stuff like that which i used to do a lot and then i kind of focused on potting with burger like the little series episode thing for a long time and that just took like my main priority and now that i've sort of like stepped away from that in a sense like i'm not as focused on that i figured i'd have more time to get back to my roots and create some bot tutorials and the bot tutorial we're doing today is dashy if you know you know boys um i have tons of success with dashy uh i get asked every single easy drop what my dashy setup is and yeah because i i just cook don't know what it is i don't know what makes my setup so much different than everybody else's but it just cooks like on what was it last saturday i think whatever day those easy's dropped but i think it was saturday um that i had i think it was like 55 checkouts on dashy alone which was pretty good i was running three copies but only one of them or the one of them like didn't really do anything i only had two checkouts so my other two were going absolutely insane so obviously my setup's working and as you can see i don't run that many tasks like I'll show you. This is this literally just open the bot. You can still see we have the same exact easy skew in there. I had 555 tasks. That's all I had. To me, that's all you need. You don't need a thousand tasks. A lot of people run like a thousand tasks or try and push it to a thousand tasks. And I've personally found when I do that, I personally don't have as much success because I kind of break the bot. So I, I try and stick around to like five to seven hundred depending on like what server I have and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this. Obviously you can see all my tasks are here. So like when you would create it, so like first off, I'm just gonna copy this so we have it. So like you create your task, obviously you're gonna select easy supply. You're gonna paste your SKU in there. And then this is what I do. If you want, you can go size by size and then select profile by profile. But what I do instead, since it's a lot easier and a lot quicker, I have my proxy list. So, like, for example, I'd select Porter Proxies. And then I'd click this. This little button right here, it's the purple. Click that. And it's a mass create. So then I would pick, and I always run random sizing because that's what my buyer always wants. But you could run, like, if you want to run four through seven, you could run that. And then you select all your profiles. And then you would just add them. Like, you could just say you want to run... 10 so you run 10 of those and they'd run every single one of these with 10 for the sizes but like for me i always run random so i would just do that click random select all these and add all the tasks what i usually do is i run a mix of isps and resi uh, personally that's why i found my best success because i never like to throw all my eggs in one basket because that's not smart um all the resis that I use are the ones that are usually sponsored. So, uh, obviously you can find all those in the description. 
On the past Yeezy drop, I used Porter proxies for a lot of my Yeezy tasks, I guess. I like in Dashy. And it was Porter ISPs, I should say. And they actually, like, they destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. So, yeah. Just gonna, you know, just throwing that out there. Big shout out to them. Thanks for the invite and sponsorship, you know. You know the vibes. But, uh, yeah. So, I would, like, for example, since I have... 37 or 37 if i create 10 that would be 370 tasks that's usually what i do for my isps i'll do like three 350 to 400 tasks with them so i'll just click add tasks and then they would add um i can actually show you that right now i'll just clear all these so for example i just add them and then it takes a second go back bam they're all added here as you can see 370 so i would then i go back to here back to create task and then I switch my proxy list. I just have uh, Taro in there, but we'll switch those. So then I would click this the purple button again, select random again, select all my profiles. And for my resis, I usually don't run as many. So I'd run like, for example, like five, because I don't want to overload the bot. When I overload it, I found I haven't had success. So then I would add those tasks. Go back here, 555 tasks. As you can see, that's the same exact setup that I ran for the 350s and I will show you we had 28 checkouts wait no 26 checkouts all right here 26 checkouts yeah I did run random so you know it's a lot easier to hit when you're running random but that's what my buyer wants so that's what's gonna happen and then obviously you know you have all your profiles I'm not gonna click on any of these because then I'll have to blur it all out and then my settings here are the settings I use literally run 4,000, 4,000. I have enabled console ticked and I have auto click capture. I probably don't need auto click capture because I run AYCD and I'm not running it on Shopify, but I just leave it selected anyways. I run AYCD over everything. Big shout out to them. You know, you can link in the description, save some money on auto solve, save some money on toolbox, code burgers kicks boys, you know the vibes. But um, yeah, I 100% recommend running auto solve. When I've ran in bot solvers, I don't know, I just haven't had success. And I switched back and forth. I tried I tried a couple drops with AYCD, and I tried a couple drops with the in bots, and I just found that I had way more success with my auto solve. And that's probably because I'm running a decent amount of Gmails. Um, speaking of Gmails, I have all my Gmails split into categories and stuff like that in AYCD. So I run certain Gmails for certain bots. So instead of running like all my emails across all my bots, I have 10 selected for one dashy, 10 selected for another dashy, 10 selected for Mac, like stuff like that. So I don't reuse the same Gmails at all. I, th I find that's very important because then each bot has its own fresh emails that they use. Uh, all my Gmails are point nines and uh, V2 checkbox invisible. So it means they're actual point nines. Um, that's how I tell that they're actually good Gmails, and I've also been using them forever, so I know they're good, but yeah. So, the amount of Gmails that I run in AYCD for my main dashy is I run a total of 15, I run 15, uh, 15 of them, and then in others I run like 10, 12, like I think 13 but yeah I don't run that many so it's not really like a, a huge deal I guess but uh yeah that's what I run but yeah so then obviously I have my discord book I already showed you the proxies but yeah that's literally my dashy setup it's, it's very simple I try not to complicate it because the more I complicate it the harder it makes it but um yeah that's literally all I do I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed this. I hope it helps you. If you guys have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I know I didn't get, like, too much detail, but to be honest, there's really not much to get into detail about because it's a lot, you know, shorter and stuff like that. It's not really a... Dash is not a really in-depth bot, in my opinion. At least that's how I see it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, boys. Leave all your comments and stuff like that. Like, obviously, write them if you have questions, leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them. You can always reach out to me on Discord and stuff like that, and I'll respond when I can. 
So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Hopefully, this helps you guys that, you know, have been asking for Dashy help. Because, yeah, that's my setup. I get help all, or I get asked all the time. So, I figured I'd make a video. So, yeah. It's your boy Burger. We're signing out. Peace.